Andy Redman. Originally from Kokomo, Indiana, and I live in a little town called Greentown, just right outside of there. Toyota 4Runner, it's a 2014 trail, trail edition. Uh, premium. You got the leather and the sunroof and the navigation. Um, 275-7017, so they're just a little bit bigger than the stock one. And there was a little concern about rubbing. We've had absolutely no issues at all without having any suspension work done. I have the sliders. That is a great investment if you want to protect the rocker panel. The last thing I wanted is to have a dent or a rock in the rocker panel or the door that uh, was going to require, you know, serious body work to fix. So I justified it with uh, with Carrie, my wife, by, uh, you know, they're also good steps to get in and out if you need them. Good. Thank you for the example. How do you how do you pack for four people, two kids, your dad? On yeah. So so four people in this vehicle, you know, kind of a midsize SUV was uh, quite a tight and fun uh, trip. We all got really close. <laughs> the kids got their notebooks and their gloves and. A lump of coal from West Virginia, and uh, so there's some sunglasses and snacks and. Oh, and guys, here's my piece of coal I found or got. You know, it's kind of neat. They could put all their stuff in here. I think they're even. Uh, boys, in there's some kind of screen you can put your iPads in here or something. Okay, you just that's how that works. This and then down, you just and take then this out. You take this out, and then you have the thing. No, but Pillow that blankies. Works. You guys, they both had to bring a blankie from home. Blanket. Uh -huh. uh huh. Blanket. I rolled the window down instead of opening the back because that's how you got to start or finish packing or start unpacking. If we open this door, it'd literally be uh, like a an avalanche of like stuff. I thought you said you couldn't open it. Well, quite a few things fell. fell out, but we had to wash some hands, oh, so I hear you. Uh, we had to risk it. We we definitely overpacked. I mean, we have a Coleman stove that we never pulled out. Granola bars, paper towels, camping like cooking gear. We got uh, toilet our plate, paper. toilet paper. Yep. I mean, just all kinds of stuff we in case we needed it. We also um, packed plenty of clothes. We knew it was going to rain the first night, so uh, we had extra clothes for making sure we had dry clothes. Right don't, boys, please don't pull it out. Please don't pull anything out. Just... I, can't, I can't. So dad's got his uh, little carpet bagger suitcase with his stuff. <laughs> and then uh, four sleeping bags, four pillows, three, um, cots. three cots, which that turned out to be kind of a nightmare. We put a tent. Um, three cots up the first night and it, you know, I measured it all out before we left to make sure they'd fit. But I didn't consider the taper in the tent, mm -hmm. so it was yeah, uh, really, really mind? tight. So the second two nights we went with two cots. The, what's next? What are you doing to the truck before the next time you do this? Um, I don't know. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is wash uh, and and buff and wax. I mentioned last night that we might need to get a little quicker camp setup. So uh, maybe roof rack, rooftop tent, I, I don't know. I always kind of mull over that stuff way too long and it takes forever before I make any kind of decision on it. But I don't know what it is, but every vehicle I have, I do something to. I mean, I, I probably will do a suspension lift. I, I really like the, the BP-51s well, you know, that you guys have. In the front, the only thing I have is the Midland radio, uh, mm -hmm. which we used all weekend long. That was great. Under the hood's pretty much stock. I got the ARB uh, dual compressor. We have the. I went with the dual just so um, the possibility of upgrading to a front locker at some point. Don't stand on that, please. I have an Odyssey battery. Um, the only reason I upgraded was because the factory battery went bad this winter. I've always had the theory that if you're gonna put something new on, you might as well make it better than what came. So it's been great having you guys. Yes. And we certainly appreciate the walk around. I'm Weston, um, 
from Ohio. Tell me about your truck here. What do we got? What's yeah, the platform? A 15 um, Trail 4Runner. Mm -hmm. Had a heck of a week so far. It's been good. It's been a good truck overall. Up top, we got a Gobi rack. Um, the CVT has it's been raining on and off all week, but the uh, rooftop tent's been great, keeping us dry. You know, along with that, we got the propane up there. Got to have the propane for all the cooking and for the scottle. Just a 40 inch uh, curved light bar. It's got spots and uh, floods. Alley box got all our coffee for for the wifey. She can't. She can't start her day without it, so. <laughs> How's it going? Yes. After it. Trying to keep it all OEM looking. Air compressor, winch, uh, light bar. A couple lights, I got the rock lights and then the hood lights tied into the winch so I can just um, click it on with the winch remote. Where's the hood light? Oh I see it. It, it just there. runs along here um, and then tied in. Uh, got the rock lights underneath which have been nice for camping. Get some uh, additional flood lights. Okay. But uh, single um, group 31 NOCO battery tender with uh, ARB um, air compressor mm -hmm. and the NOCO I can just once a week, just plug her in, top her off, and then uh, keeps everything nice and tidy and topped off before a good trip. We stay up there, and then we got an extra visitor down here. That's Finn. So she stays down here at night, and then we let her roam and chase the squirrels. We call her Finnegan, Finny, Finister. She is the craziest doggo. Got lots of names for her, but today she's just crazy. Um, Snowmaster fridge, this has been great. Uh, you know, we've, we've just got it plugged in back here and got our essentials, pork tacos, hot sauce. This has been one of our nicer additions that uh, I don't think I could live without. No, yep. it's loose, uh, but it's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And with this um, pouch on the side, there's a lot of extra storage. You can see it got a med kit back here, a um, couple extra flashlights, fire extinguisher, growler. Our scottle, um, my fish pond bag, it's actually watertight. I left that out last night, got a little rain on and everything inside is nice and dry. Water jerry can, I just put a little uh, Schrader valve on it so I can keep the water pressurized and I just flip the spigot and we got pressurized water which is you know use it more than you think uh, washing dishes and washing your hands and we can actually take this out and put it um, in another car Ellie can watch her Netflix and I can navigate uh, so it just wedges between the seats yep yep and then if we've got passengers in the back it's no different it can just yeah yeah it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't vibrate Got the Midland radio, just got it clipped in here. In a couple instances, we've been spread out pretty far and if uh, any kind of fork in the road, it's nice to uh, you know touch base with the team and then uh, figure out where the heck we're going because there's a lot of opportunities for someone to get lost. And then we've just got an extra um, Baofeng handheld radio. You know, if you gotta get out of the car to winch me up a hill, it's it's good to have too. Keep the winch remote in here. What's, uh, what's been your most favorite piece of equipment that you've used? Oh man, the truck in general. We uh, put it to the test and you know, that's what they're built for is just being used. So that was one of the, the cool things to see is just how capable these things are. Let's do it. In a little bit of mud today, it actually gives it a 3D kind of feel for the logo right here. The inside was actually clean before we started the trip, but right now it's a little more muddy. 
Um, we do, it is Rachel's birthday today, or tomorrow actually. And uh, she's got a Krispy Kreme uh, honey bun, iced honey bun. It's a little disorganized. It's actually a little more organized than it usually is. Um, we've been navigating this whole time using our InReach, uh, InReach Plus, um, along with the EarthMate app. And mind you, we're actually going to North Carolina, uh, to Charlotte, North Carolina later on this evening. That's what it's made for, right? It even got all the way down here, got up on the seat. I think I told you to close your window. Well, the first time you did, the second time I didn't remember, so I just <laughs> left it open. Uh, I've got some camera equipment back here. I've got a Blue Ridge Overland, uh, Overland gear uh, seat organizer uh, set up. We got our attic right up here. Uh, usually, we, you know, for the stuff that's bulky, like jackets, um, pillows, stuff like that, that's what we usually keep uh, keep up there, just so it's not floating around in the back seat. Also, back here, we've got our clothes. Uh, this is Rachel's bag. We try to keep it as organized as we can, and that right there um, on the passenger and behind the passenger side. That's actually a trash bag for inside of the truck. So you have trash laying around, you just dump it in there. When you get a chance, you just pick it up and uh, you dump it, you know, wherever you stop. We got a whole cake of mud. Get this, hang on. That's all mud right there. That's buddy. cool. They're um, going to love you in Charlotte. Oh, I'm sure. Um, aside from that, I've got, you know, my, my bag back here. I still haven't really perfected kind of organizing my Overland gear and my clothes. How long have you been doing this? About four years now. Okay. But you should know this already. So I still kind of carry a bag with my uh, beer tamer kit, also from Blue. You're getting better. You're getting better at packing. I mean, you know, pr progress. Practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, cooking gear and any, uh, you know, like canned food or anything that we carry goes in here. Um, and everything that we need to cook goes in the bottom one, um, in the bottom front runner box. Also to the side of that, dirty laundry. Um, there's a Timbo Tusk Scuttle, which we've actually used every single night on the trip, uh, you know, for the past couple of days. Uh, we've made stir fry, and then the first night we made hamburgers. Tonight we're going to make uh, chicken kebabs and rice on the Scuttle. Um, everything's tasted great so far, or at least they've told me it tasted great. I don't know if they're just telling me that, and, you know, they're actually going around and throwing up after that. I don't know. I hope not. But we've been using this quite a bit as well, so we've got the Alucap slider on here. Um, which gives you pretty easy access to the fridge. So if you need beer or if you need anything, you've actually got a temperature read on the front as well. And then you've got full access to the fridge right here. It's pretty empty right now, but it was full about 24 hours ago. That's kind of what we've been living out of here. Um, back here, we've got a slew of things. We've got some liners. We've got uh, a couple of Helinox chairs that we use. We've got our cups that are also caked in mud. Uh, koozies. Oh, you found the Green Bay koozie. Smoked maple bourbon. Is that the Green Bay koozie where it was missing? This is the Green Bay koozie that we were missing. What would have happened if you wouldn't have been able to find that? I would, I would have been really upset. I've had this koozie probably since high school. But then when I got of drinking age, which was 21 in the state <laughs> that I'm in, I actually started using this for beer. Mm -hmm. um, got some camp soap back here. Also, uh, a recovery gear, a deflator. We've got our ARB Adventure Light, um, that's come that's come in handy. We got some towels, uh, paper plates, paper bowls in case anybody needs some. TP because you can never have too much of that. Um, this I was actually pretty impressed with, and it worked phenomenally. So I'll be I'll be using this from now on. And you didn't break it. I did not break it for once. We thought I broke it the first time, but I did not break it for once. We've got that. Oh, also for music, <laughs> we've got our Bose. Green Bay, uh, Green Bay speaker, but we haven't gotten to use it. Um, do you like green? Year. Do you like Green Bay? I don't know. Can you tell? <laughs> do you bit. wear green underwear? Actually, no. I do have green underwear on. As a Green Bay underwear. Wait, also, and a green undershirt. See? Oh yeah, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> so CBI bumper on the back. Uh, we put this on about two years ago, and uh, it's done very well. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Um, my favorite part about the bumper is actually the fold-down table right here, which comes in really handy when we're cooking dinner. You know, also the jerry can carrier, which we carry gas and water. Also back here, we've got the tire carrier, which actually holds our uh, Max Trax. And on the front of those, we'll go around and we'll see a uh, Blue Ridge Overland Gear trash bag. It's a trail trash bag. 
Also, we've got our Cooper SCT Pros back here. Uh, that's that's what we're running this year um, on the MSO fleet. What's wrong with my exhaust pipe? I'll show you what's wrong with my exhaust pipe. My exhaust pipe ate a couple rocks. It got a little hungry, and then it, once it was fed, it shut its mouth. So now it doesn't eat anymore, but it still lets out some exhaust, I think. So sliders, we got the white uh, white knuckle off-road sliders. Those have uh, saved my ass quite a bit on the trail. Um, now it's bolted straight to the frame. They are they do have some uh, character on the bottom as well, where they've slid on the trail and you know they've they've done their job. They've saved the doors from dings and scratches and bangs, so they've absolutely done their job. Up here we've got our front runner rack. Uh, we can just put the James Brood on there, which is uh, exactly what I need it for. Any type of luggage or any type of, uh, you know, anything we carry, I usually put inside of the cab. So, you know, I, I personally don't need the cargo space on top of the vehicle and it just houses the James Brood tent. It opens up uh, uh, more on one side than it does the other, just to give you a little bit of space to either stand up or change. So it's basically a personal preference. I like this better, like I said, just because you can actually almost stand up in it and you can uh, like get dressed or change or, you know, uh, what have, whatever, whatever you want to do in a tent, that's your business. We usually do have a shadow on, on here. We have to relocate a little bit, so we have adapters that we're going to be uh, installing that are going to actually lift the shadow on about four inches or five, four or five inches uh, high, uh, higher up than it is now, mainly because if you look back here, we've got the hatch that's not going to allow it to open up fully. So once we put the adapters on, they're actually going to raise it up and then you'll be able to open it with the hatch open in the back. You know, we, we got in the mud, but we didn't get in a lot of deep water. Um, but this is a Safari Snorkel by ARB. Main reason I do want to use it is because there's a big hole in my truck because of it. And that hurt when we cut a hole in the side of my truck. So I really want to use it to make sure that it works because I still haven't been able to do it. This is Gordon. Would you, would you happen to have a porta potty? Actually, we will talk about the porta potty here okay. shortly. We will talk about the porta potty. We've got the ARB uh, Summit Series bumper. Believe it or not, it is color matched. Um, you can't really tell right now. I mean, the whole truck is color matched at this point. That's that, that's caked on there. Jesus. Um, <laughs> got our GMRS radio and a CB. Uh, CB we don't use as much right now. We use the Midland uh, NXT 400, and that's actually done really, really well for all our needs. I mean. You know, usually a team doesn't uh, stay further than maybe a mile or two away from each other. So this gives us the capability to uh, communicate on the trail. Uh, up here, we've got the IPF Extremes by ARB. One is a spotlight and the other is a fog light. Um, they, they've come in really handy. Um, we've actually uh, put them all on the side of the road and lit up a mountain uh, with uh, five trucks. So extremely powerful. Don't look straight into them. You'll regret it for the next two or three hours. Down here, we've got our worn winch. Like I said, we've used that quite a bit today. It's it's put in its time for sure today. Um, and it was actually on, so we'll go ahead and turn it off. Below, it's actually the ARB skid plate uh, kit. That saved, uh, saved my ass from quite a bit of uh, dings and scratches, but um, they're definitely doing their job. They're sitting down there and protecting the, under, the undercarriage of the truck. Also right there, recovery point. Um, it's bolted straight to the frame um, and you know, rumor has it you can hang the truck from a tree from it, but I haven't tried that yet, but hopefully we will. So it might, it might look at first glance, it might look like a normal chair, correct? <laughs> but as soon as our test subject here, Gordon, stands up, you'll see it's not a normal chair. Gordon, stand up for me. As you can tell, this is our camper five-star pooper scooper. So you place a one-gallon bucket right under here, okay? And then you have the freedom that you have at home without having to squat or hug a tree. But these will go on sale on Gordon's website for nine, for two easy payments of $19.95. <laughs> now he's going to put it on my face. 